Hey, history enthusiasts, welcome to Disturbing History Mysteries. Today we're delving into the fascinating story of how the Assyrian king Ashurbanipal built one of the first professional armies in history. Professionalism. Close your eyes and transport yourself to the ancient world, a time when empires rose and fell, and the echoes of war reverberated across the landscape. In the midst of this chaos, the Assyrian Empire, under the formidable rule of Ashurbanipal, marked a turning point in military history. So what made Ashurbanipal's army so unique? It wasn't your run-of-the-mill military crew, it was one of the world's first professional armies. But what's the big deal? Well, imagine soldiers not just doing their duty, but making warfare their full-time gig. Ashurbanipal changed the game, turning war from a part-time affair into a lifelong commitment. Characteristics of the Assyrian army. What set Ashurbanipal's army apart from the rest? Unlike other ancient armies that drafted ordinary folks, his force was made up of hired and paid soldiers. This professional army danced to the tune of the nation-state and the king, standing out from the mix of mercenaries and tribal warriors you'd find elsewhere, from everyday folks to warriors. Before this pro makeover, Assyrians from all walks of life were frequently called to arms due to their vulnerable position. Kings, nobles, priests, and even regular folks, all moonlighting as soldiers, summoned often to safeguard their homeland. Why? Well, the fertile heartland they inhabited lacked natural defenses, making a large mobilized force essential for defense. Geopolitics and warfare culture. The geography of Assyria made defense paramount, leading to a unique warfare culture. The Assyrians became adept at both defending and attacking. By the time of the Neo-Assyrian Empire, they had experienced over a thousand years of existence, with only one significant period of foreign domination. This history of resilience made them not just defenders of their homeland, but also formidable conquerors. Diaglath Pilasa III, the reformer. Imagine a world where the mighty Assyrian Empire teetered on the edge of uncertainty. Now meet Tiglath Pileser III, a key player in these uncertain times. Born into a world of chaos, he wasn't just a bystander, he became a force of change. Imagine him as someone who didn't just go along with how things were, he reshaped the heart of the Assyrian government. As he grew in influence, it wasn't business as usual for Tiglath Pileser III. He wasn't content with keeping things the way they were. He wanted to make a lasting impact. Picture him like a sculptor, chiseling away at the old ways of the Assyrian government to create something new and powerful. The empire wasn't just on the brink of uncertainty anymore. It was on the brink of a transformation led by Tiglath Pileser III. Innovations in warfare. Now let's journey back to the time of Tiglath Pileser III, a period not just marked by territorial expansion, but also by groundbreaking innovations that left an indelible mark on the future of warfare. The Assyrians, under Tiglath Pileser III's leadership, were true pioneers in the realm of military strategy. Tiglath Pileser III didn't just lead armies, he revolutionized how they fought. In a world where chariots dominated, he dared to be different. The Assyrians, under his command, introduced something revolutionary, cavalry. Picture vast numbers of horse archers and lancers, a formidable force that gradually pushed aside the once mighty chariots. It was a game changer, like watching the dawn of a new era in warfare. But the innovation didn't stop there. Think about the challenges of besieging a city, the massive walls, the defenses. Tiglath Pileser III's brilliance extended to siege warfare. The Assyrians crafted siege engines powerful tools designed to breach and demolish enemy city walls. Picture these ingenious inventions as the architects of conquest, paving the way for the Assyrians to conquer territories that once seemed impenetrable. In a nutshell, Tiglath Pileser III didn't just lead armies into battle. He transformed the very nature of warfare. The Assyrians, under his strategic vision, were the trailblazers of their time, introducing tactics and technologies that echoed through the annals of history. Brutal tactics and deportations. Now let's delve into the harsh realities of Assyrian warfare. 
a chapter stained with ruthless tactics and a no-holds-barred approach. In the art of war, the Assyrians were not ones to extend a gentle hand. They offered the besieged city a choice, an opportunity to surrender and spare its people from the impending storm. But if defiance echoed through the city walls, if the inhabitants chose to stand and resist, the Assyrians unleashed a brutal wave. No mercy was shown, the price of resistance was steep. The Assyrians were known for their ruthlessness, a reputation earned through the merciless slaughter or enslavement of the entire population. It was a stark and unforgiving reality of ancient warfare, where the line between victory and devastation was drawn in blood. And now let's talk about another tactic in their grim arsenal, mass deportation. Imagine an entire population deemed rebellious or defiant, forcibly uprooted from their homelands. In the 50 years following Tiglath Pileser III, more than 400,000 people experienced the harsh reality of Assyrian policy. This wasn't just a relocation, it was a strategy of control, scattering dissenting voices across the empire and ensuring that rebellion wasn't just crushed on the battlefield, but erased from the very fabric of society, building and destroying. Yet the Assyrians weren't just masters of destruction, they were builders too. Picture a vast network of roads crisscrossing the Assyrian Empire like lifelines, connecting regions and ensuring swift communication. But their ingenuity didn't stop there. During military campaigns, each night brought forth a marvel, a fortified camp, a temporary stronghold, meticulously erected with precision. It wasn't just a defensive measure, it was a strategic move, providing the army with a secure haven to regroup, strategize and prepare for the challenges of the next day. And now let's talk about the backbone of this logistical marvel, the fortified supply depots. These were not just warehouses, they were stockpiles of sustenance and power, extra food, weapons gleaming in readiness, horses ready to gallop, and war materials strategically placed. This wasn't mere preparation, it was a symphony of readiness, ensuring that the Assyrian army possessed the flexibility to move at a pace unheard of in ancient times. And then, the boast of kings echoed through the ages, a claim that their armies could march an astounding 30 miles a day. This wasn't just a number, it was a testament to the strategic brilliance of the Assyrians. They weren't just conquerors on the battlefield, they were masters of movement and adaptability, turning the very act of war into a choreography of efficiency. In the tale of Assyrian dominance, destruction was only one facet. The ability to build, strategize, and move swiftly was the silent force that propelled their empire to unparalleled heights in the ancient world. Legacy of conquest. Fast forward a century from the transformative era of Tiglath Pileser III and witness the legacy of conquest unfold as Assyria experiences a reign of capable monarchs who wielded the professional army like architects of empire. In this historical chapter, Assyria emerges not just as a conqueror but as an innovator, a civilization that didn't rest on its laurels but continually evolved the art of warfare. The professional army, once introduced by Tiglath Pileser III, became the backbone of Assyrian dominance enabling a string of monarchs to expand the empire to unprecedented scales. These rulers were not content with maintaining the status quo. They were visionaries, introducing diverse troop types that added layers to Assyrian military might. Picture the battlefield, where not only the typical soldiers stood, but also a variety of specialized forces. Light infantry, a formidable presence provided by vassal states, moved with agility, while slingers unleashed precise projectiles. Archers with their bows drawn taut, shield bearers offering protection and infantry shields reflecting specialized battlefield roles, a symphony of forces designed for specific tasks. Assyria wasn't just amassing lands, it was sculpting a military legacy. The Assyrian professional army, refined and augmented over the years, became a force to be reckoned with influencing the very fabric of warfare in the ancient world. In their conquest, the Assyrians weren't merely extending borders, they were shaping the narrative of military strategy, leaving an enduring mark on the annals of history. And that concludes our exploration into the fascinating topic the Assyrian king Ashurbanipal built one of the first professional army. 
If this historical journey intrigued you, don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video engaging and insightful, be sure to press the like button and subscribe to Disturbing History. Mysteries to unravel more historical enigmas, stay tuned as we delve into the mysteries of the past in our upcoming stories. Until then, farewell.